Hey, there you go. Hey, what's up? What's going on, Adam? Not much. Hey, sorry to you know bother you on a beautiful day today, but uh, thank you for coming on. All good. Uh, I love the way you guys are playing. I, you know, I have two wishes: the coaches stay and Tony come back. My two big wishes. But, yeah. Uh, but um, it's gonna be easy. There's only like 18 people. Got a few people from Europe. They're excited to uh to say hello to you too, and they get 30 seconds to ask you a question and. I'll stay on here and monitor it, but it's, they're good people. They're, you know, they're, you know, these people have been waiting for a year for our signing. So they're, they're, they're a good group, but, mm -hmm. uh, and congratulations on that list. 60 points, less yeah, than 99 you. games. Thank See, I, I'm, I'm old. I'm 57. <laughs> I watch Zuboff. I watch Leach every game. And actually Ray Arutza Lennon, Plexi Rexy, I remember too. Really? When you were a kid and you had that t-shirt, did you ever think that you would be playing in Madison Square Garden? No, definitely not. Isn't it so real for you? Yeah, it's crazy. It's nuts. And not only that, you're getting compared to Leach. I mean, that's that's got to be mind-blowing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely crazy. But it'd be nice to have some fans back in the building. Hopefully get a little more soon now. Yeah, I, it, I think things are opening up. Um, even like when I – Atlantic City, like they said that – they get some insight from the government and everything. They said a lot of things are going to open up. They're going to, you know – the limit of people in the restaurants and the casinos and sporting events and everything. So signs are looking good. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, listen, I have season tickets 30 years. It's a pain to get a COVID test for every game. Yeah, I mean, definitely. So I'll, go, I'll get a rapid one to cover two games, but it's, you know, it's tough. So yeah. sometimes I give away tickets and yeah. I know people have, you know, their COVID list and stuff. Yeah, it's up their process. And uh, definitely Atlantic City, I'd love to see you and Lindgren come because that's a good time. I don't know if they told you how great of the time they had two years yeah, ago. Yeah, I'll talk to Ryan about that and stuff and, and let you know. All right, sounds good, buddy. All right, so um, what I'll do is I'm just going to put everybody up for 30 seconds and away we go. I don't want to hold you up. All right. Here we go. What's going on, Stephen? You're live with Adam Fox. How are you? And shoot away. Hi, Adam. I'm hey, Steve. how's it going, nice Stephen? To nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you, too. Thanks for taking the time out of your schedule to meet with us today. Of course, After the, of course. Back in, in uh, Washington, that was a great three games. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, I've been a Ranger fan since I was about your age, actually, in 93. And then they won the Cup the following year. So then I was hooked after that. Yeah, that's good timing. It was great timing. And uh, I got to tell you that um, you make the game fun to watch. I, I haven't seen a defenseman that I've been so excited about since the years of Zubov and Leach. You, the way you make plays, the way you block shots, the way you score, it's just a lot of fun to watch. So thank you so much. No, thank you. Appreciate that. My dad was was big fans of, of those two uh, when he was growing up. He's been a Ranger fan for pretty much his whole life, too. So. Obviously, pretty special to, you know, have those comparisons. All right. awesome. Thank you, Stephen, and uh, thank you for coming on. Hey, could I just take a quick screenshot before we go? Of course. Okay, smile. <laughs> All right, Stephen, thanks, buddy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, your dad, too. He must be. I got, um, for the signing, I have uh, your your breakaway coast-to-coast -coast shot for you and That's your dad. awesome. Yeah, I, I was at that game, and I'm like, everybody's like, Ted, you need that photo for the sign. I'm like, but I got, you know, I says, all right. So I called uh, Photo File, and uh, they had it. And I called, you know, NHL to get the official photo. And so I got one for you and your dad. I that's really a appreciate shot. that. Oh, not a problem, not a problem. All right, let's get a – we'll go with the foreigners uh, later. The ones that are in different countries are cool. But uh, let's get uh, Tracy. Hi, Tracy and Glenn. You're live with Adam Fox. Go ahead. Hi, Adam. Thank hey, you very hi. much for coming. Hey, how's it going? Great game last night. Thank so you. my question is, when you finally realized you were being signed into the NHL and you were going to get that massive paycheck, everyone has a wish list. What was your big ticket item and did you get it yet? Uh, honestly, I, I didn't have anything too big. I, uh, I was, you know, a college kid, so I thought spending 200 on something was like, uh, you know, all my, my whole paycheck pretty much. But, uh, yeah, I bought, like, honestly, some Ray-Bans, some sunglasses, and, and nothing too crazy yet. So, uh, 
you know, hopefully, hopefully I can make a big purchase soon, but no, I haven't made anything, anything too crazy. Ah, okay. okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, my, my question for you was uh, in the locker room, player or players that tend to calm the room when things are getting out of hand, uh, say a bad game, a bad period, something like that. Yeah, I think it's always like, I think any team is veterans. I think guys with experience who have been in most situations and, and, you know, guys like Kreider and, you know, last year Stahl and, and Hank and, and guys like that. I mean, these are guys who have played in, you know, pretty much every scenario you can. So, you know, when they say something, you kind of uh, take it and listen. And I think they really help, uh, you know, the younger guys. Thank you, Tracy and Glenn. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thank you. All right. This is new that I'm doing on Zoom. See, this is out of the yeah. box. I mean, what do you got to do? You got to adjust to the times, you know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, let us go to Elena. This might, there she goes. Elena, you're live with Adam Fox. How are you? Go ahead. Unmute. There you go. There you go. Hi, Adam. How are Hi, you? How are you? Very good. Very good seeing you again. Hey, uh, you I'm, pro I'm probably like the biggest fan in the room of yours so far. Like, you know, oh, there we go. Probably That's back the first one with the jersey. Every time I go to the home games, I sit right behind you guys and I feel your energy. It's like energy exchange is just unbelievable. Thank you for like bringing all this joy to us. Like, I'm very happy to see you performing the way you perform on ice. It's just unbelievable. It's phenomenal. Thank you, especially yesterday's game. What was that about? Like, you guys really brought it up yesterday. Unbelievable. Thank you so much for your effort and everything. Yeah, thank so, you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be there on March 30th for a Capitals game. I'm going to say hello to you guys. Right awesome. behind you. Keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah. So I All have right, a question. Elaine. Go ahead. Get One question. If you had to choose the athlete to practice with, who would that be? Any athlete or hockey player? Or a hockey, like the uh, the greatest hockey player? Uh, I'd say currently probably McDavid. Uh, I mean, you watch the highlights of him and it's pretty crazy. So I'd be very curious to see how he is in a one-on-one -on -one in practice or something. I got you. Thank you, right, Adam. Elena, Can I take you. a quick picture? Yep. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks, Elena. You. See you March 30th. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, it's been fantastic. I think I woke up the neighbors when Nika scored and, you know, I, just exciting yesterday. Yeah, definitely. That was... It was a heartbreaker the other night before. I mean, that's probably I marked that as the the best loss I've ever seen. <laughs> like, yeah, totally outplayed him. He didn't get the two points, but yeah. that happens. You know? All right, here we go. Sometimes they run a little slow on sharing. Hi, Sharon. You're live with Adam Fox. Look, you got a mutual love background there. How you doing? Go ahead, Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> Good. How are you? Hey, Adam. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for doing this. Um, you're, I think of you and Lindgren when you're on the ice. I totally compare you guys to Booga Boom and Leech. And I know most people compare you to Leach. How does it feel to be compared to an amazing New York Ranger that you'll be as well? <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's, I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I was a little young to watch him, but my dad was a big Ranger fan. And obviously, you know, his, his resume and, and, you know, what he's accomplished. So uh, obviously got a long way to go, but to, to have your name compared with that is, is definitely special. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch you guys on the ice. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, Sean, you could ask one more. You're you're good for it. You're 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 a loyal fan. So go ahead. Um, you're. They just put out stats yesterday that you know in your first hundred games. Well, you're at 99, I think. Mm -hmm. But you've reached that mark that uh, Leach and uh, Zuboff and Rootsin. Yeah. What's the letter? <laughs> yeah. How's that feel? It's awesome. I mean, obviously, you know, coming in, you don't really you know, have the expectation of, of doing that. You just kind of want to play well. So, uh, you know, having that, like I said, your name with, with guys like that, it's it's special. But 
uh, still a long way to go. So hopefully, hopefully a lot more of those. Yeah, I hope so too. You're a lot of fun to watch and your yeah. instinct is just amazing on the ice. And thanks for that. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you, Sharon. Take Thank care. You so much, you we have a pretty good crew. We have a really good crew. Yeah. Like every, every night during the pandemic, um, I don't know if you know, I do um, an hour Facebook Ranger hockey show. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah. And, and MSG came to my place and did a commercial oh, about nice. it. So, so I kept people in, you know, you know, cause a lot of people are sick. A lot of people are depressed. Yeah. So I, I, we've been off for 370 nights at eight o'clock to nine o'clock. We do like what we're doing here, like a hockey segment. We do Ranger trivia. And that's I didn't awesome. think the Rangers would uh, come to my house and they came to my house and they filmed the commercial. And, and that's why we got such a great group and everybody's yeah. like itching for, to meet you guys. And I thought outside the box doing this, and I said, you know what, in the summer, we could pull it off August 8th, you know, and get Crides to headline yeah. it. Cause most of the guys are European and they're, they can't fly down. It's yeah. tough to understand, but local guys like you guys would be great. So yeah, it's unreal. All right, let us go to, let me just go right down the list. Okay. About eight more to go. There you go. Alex, how you doing, buddy? You're live with Adam Fox. Go ahead. I just got to unmute you. There you go. Yep, perfect. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Adam, how you doing? Good, good. How are you? Hey, uh, appreciate you taking the time out to do this with us. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, you know, I uh, just want to say I'll keep, uh, I know the time's short here, but uh, love watching you play. A uh, huge Ranger fan. Um, big win last night. You know, you guys are, you're looking good. You're gelling. Um, so loving it. Love seeing you play. I uh, just wanted to ask you a quick question. Um, who did you mold your game after growing up, uh, looking up to? Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, being a Ranger fan, my dad was, you know, a big Lee Zuboff guy. But for me, I watched a lot of Lindstrom. Like he was, you know, so patient with the puck and I know his nickname was like Mr. Perfect, never really made a mistake. So, uh, you know, just watching a guy like him, obviously he's one of the best, best of all time, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of stuff like that, that you kind of try and try and accomplish and, and watch him and, and try and see what he does. And it's little tendencies like that. So I think he was a big one for me growing up. Awesome. I mean, you can't go wrong looking up to him at all. Yeah, definitely. All right. Good uh, stuff, buddy. Alex. Thank you for coming aboard. Thank you. Yep, thank you very much. Do guys do do stuff like this with Zoom? Is this common? Not that I know of, but obviously I don't know if anything's really common in the past year. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's but you know we got to adjust to it. You know we yep. got our health. You got your family. That's the most important. Of course. That's how I look at it. Uh, all right, let's go to Roman. Sorry, I'm keeping you on a beautiful day too. It's all good. Just so happened. All right, here we go. See, Roman, you're there, Roman. Roman. You have Roman, you have your video on, your sound on. I might have to come back to you later, Roman. Oh, let's see. Give you one minute, Fox. There you go. Hey, there you go. There All right, Roman, go ahead. Adam hey. Fox, say hello. Hey, hey, Adam, how are you? Ethan, say hello. Hi. This hey, is buddy. Ethan. He's uh, he plays for our local league. Uh, huge fans. Definitely wants to play for the New York Rangers one day. Uh, you left him a, a nice cameo uh, like six months ago, so that was awesome. He listens to it all the time. So just wanted to. I know you went to Harvard and you did really good in school. So I keep telling him that to be a good. Uh, you know, hockey player definitely need to be uh, yep. good in school. Yep, school first, school first. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, you should set some big goals, you know, try and try and be a ranger yourself one day, but definitely focus on the school. It's it's just as important. See, that's that the way you know what I love, Roman? You know me when I, for the years doing science, watch these kids smile is what makes my day. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I mean, uh, every day, you know, he says one day I want to be a, uh, I, I knew a cringe, nothing else. That's all that's yeah. all he cares about. Yeah, keep pushing. You'll get there. All right, awesome. very good. Say goodbye to Adam. Ben, Bye, thank guys. you so much. We'll see you tomorrow at the game. Adam. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Take care. Yeah. Yeah, I love the kids. That's that's yeah. just like you guys. It's just just to see kids glow. Like I'll, I'll give a 16 by 20, but just 
like all the signs I do, I, I just can't wait when the kids come up there and, and yeah. the energy. That's what I love doing. They always get all quiet when they get up there. <laughs> they get all shy and stuff. And and then they can't sleep. They sleep with their autograph yeah. stuff in their beds. It's great. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be so real for you. You know, I like yeah. as a kid, I grew up a Ranger fan, a Yankee fan. And it's like when you meet them, it's yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. It's just if the way what you're doing, it's awesome. All right, let's go. We got about seven more. Let's try to speed it up again. Let me, all right, Danielle. The, he's from Norway. Oh. Oh, Australia. Yeah, I think, no, yeah, he's from Australia. Well, he'll he'll tell you. There we go. There you go. All right, tell Adam where you're from because you're one of our overseas big fans. Go ahead. You're live with Adam. Hey, Adam. How you doing? Um, yeah. I'm from Australia. <laughs> oh, how'd you become a Ranger fan? Uh, I went, I traveled there when I was 21, so nine years ago. Um, saw my first game and been a fan ever since. It's awesome. uh, incredible being at the garden. So. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I was just wondering if you could tell me what it's like uh, to step out on garden ice. I'm a hockey player myself here in Australia, obviously much lower grade than what you're playing. <laughs> um, but just wondering what it's like to, to hit that ice with a full crowd. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I remember my first game, like just so nervous and like usually never really get nervous for a game, but that was like the most butterflies ever. And I think the coolest part too is just like when they show sometimes, I don't know, maybe the game you were at or not, but they have celebrity camp sometimes and you see like, you know, A-list actors and, and people and it's like, wow, they're sitting here watching me play hockey. So, uh, you know, I think that's probably one of the coolest parts. Oh, that's awesome. Um, great win yesterday. Yeah, that was, that was a nice win. Yeah, and the 9 0 game. Well, that was just fun. Yeah, to watch. that was fun. That was, that was one of the more fun games. No, I bet. Um, well, Daniel, we're happy that you stayed late at night watching us and, and catching Adam. One more last thing you could ask him. Go ahead. Uh, just, I just want to say thank you. I think you're an absolutely amazing player, and it's um, it's been a pleasure to watch you over the last couple of years. So, um, yeah, thanks thanks for your time today. Thank as well. you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank no, and, like, good luck time. for the rest thank of the season. You. Thank you. Right. This next guy is great. This guy has a hat collection, Adam. Yeah. Hundreds. I think it's 160 hats on his. He built a shelf. He's got 160 hats and Ranger hats, and they're all different. Wow. And, and he won't touch it. He won't put them on. He's been wearing this red hat that you guys, on the last three games, and he says, I got to keep wearing the hat. But he's a good guy. But wait till you see his collection. I, there we go. I give him a little special perks, a little extra time because he's such a guy. Anders, how you doing, buddy? Hey, you got it. First of all, show Adam your hat collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> How many Very hats, Sanders? One hundred and seventy-three right now, and I think I have around twenty-two on the way. And you have like four at your place. There we go. Is this the is this the hot one you're wearing right now? Keeping it on. Where's the lucky hat? There you go. That's you the lucky wear hat. That right. There we go. It's the Lundqvist. It's the we lucky go. one right now. That's a lucky one. <laughs> now, Anders, is, Anders is in Sweden. So uh, Anders stays up 4 or 5 in the morning for watching the games for after show. But Anders is a diehard. Is it Samuelson? There you go. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You want to so ask uh, Fox same... anything, Anders? Yeah. I, I was just thinking about, uh, of course, uh, I forgot to say hello to you in, in a really nice way. But uh, <laughs> and also congratulate you to the great win yesterday. Thank you. And and and, and uh, the question I had was, what is your best moment uh, so far this year in the in the in the years in Ukraine? Um, best moment, uh, I think honestly, like I think it was you know that first game against Boston when they let fans in. I think it just kind of made you appreciate you know having fans in the building. I think we played in an empty building for a while, and you know it was only like two thousand people, but you know you heard it, and uh, you know I think that was pretty. Pretty cool for this year, and you know, obviously that nine nothing game was was pretty crazy too. I've never been a, I've never been a part of something like that, so I think that's up there with something I'll, I'll remember. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, and and Mika got got the record as well, and you know, yeah. uh, as a Swede, I'm Swede. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm just so pleased. Yeah, no, it was it was awesome. All right, Anders, yeah. you get a bonus question because we love your hack collection. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I I was also thinking about. Uh, what do you think that have made defense so strong this year? Uh, I think just, you know, we're a younger team. So I think everyone kind of comes in and, you know, they're, they're a scorer wherever they're playing. They put up points. But I think, uh, you know, especially in our division, we play against some teams that are a lot older and, 
you know, a lot of experience. So I think just, you know, starting with the defense and the offense kind of come from that, I think, you know, when you give a lot of teams like Washington or Boston a lot of chances, they're going to capitalize eventually. So uh, I think just focusing on, you know, the defense and then the offense kind of comes from that. So I think we're realizing that a little more, uh, you know, this year. Okay. All right, Thanks. Just, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank uh, you. Hope to see you. Hope to meet you one day. Yes. Love the collection. Okay. Very good, Anders. Good stuff there, huh? The funny things are all different. Every hat yeah. is different. It's crazy. That is crazy. But, Let's go to more for this. She's from, um, if I'm not mistaken, Norway with her nine-year-old son that plays mm -hmm. hockey. So he's so, yeah. he's, she's nervous and he's not. He's telling yeah. his mother, not eight years old, mom, don't be nervous. Here they come. Lucas. There, hold on. Unmute. There you go. Hi, Lucas. Hey. You got your hockey stick there? Say hello to Adam. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? What are you He's a little okay. shy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you got your hockey stick. You want to show uh, Adam your hockey stick? But I'm not. <laughs> See that thing. There you go. Cool. Don't you be shy, Alex. You told me. You... Hmm? I'm Did sorry. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, nice. He started this. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, you told me mommy's shy and you're not shy. So why are you shy now? Alex wants to say hello. No. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> okay. Mommy. Mommy is. All right. You got your Rangers shirt on, I see. All right. Say goodbye to Alex. Hey, it's nice to meet you, buddy. Hey, bye. <laughs> He's a little shy. All right. <laughs> Let us go to a few more and we'll be good. Joseph, how are you? You're live with Adam Fox. Go ahead. We are good. Adam, great win last night. Thank you. I can't I can't see him. There you go. Great win last night, Adam. Uh, Thank you. Our question is, you are now considered one of the best two-way defensemen in the league right now. How does that feel? And what have you changed in your game, if anything, to achieve that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's obviously, you know, pretty special to hear your name with, with some people that, you know, you grew up watching and, uh, you know, have a lot of success and, you know, great resumes. So, uh, you know, it's definitely special for me. I think for me, just, uh, it's just adjusting your game a little bit, understanding who you're out against. I think there's some guys who, you know, physically, I can't really, you know, knock them off the puck so I got to have a better stick and then there's smaller guys where you can you know use your body a little more so I think just you know making adjustments with that I don't think it was anything too too crazy for me but I think uh just focusing on stuff like that kind of helped me adjust defensively well excellent and uh, all success and and health going forward in the season and uh, bring us to the playoffs, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. Thanks, Joseph. Thank you, thank you very good. much. Bye. Take care, Ted. Right. Thank you very much. Bye. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. Down to five. Four more. Four more to go. And then I get my tan on. <laughs> All good. All right. You're live with Adam Fox, Michael. Go ahead. How you doing, buddy? Hey, how are you? Uh, congrats on your 50th assist and your 60th point. Thank you. Um, who is the prankster on the team? And if you could say it, what has he done? Uh, prankster? Uh, I'd say the guy who kind of messes with the most people is probably Stromer. Oh, yeah? Uh, no one no one really does anything too crazy prank-wise, necessarily like leaners on the door of the hotel. I don't think it's anything like that. But uh, more so just giving guys, you know, flack about things. You know, it's, if they mess up in practice, kind of chirping them and stuff like that. I think him, I think. You know, Smitty's kind of like that, too. Crides will give it to guys. So uh, I think the older guys tend to give it to, to the younger guys. We got a, a lot of younger guys, so they'll, well, they'll give them a little bit of the rookie treatment. That's awesome. Who's your favorite player uh, when you were a kid? Uh, my favorite player is probably Lidstrom. I love I loved watching him. Uh, you know, my, my dad was a big Ranger fan, so he was a big Leech, you know, Zuboff guy. But, uh, you know, I was a little a little young when they were – 
right. you know, kind of coming towards the end of their of their careers. But, you know, Lidstrom for me was a guy that I loved watching. All right, Michael, good stuff. Say goodbye to thank Adam, you, and we'll thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Let's see. Three more to go. Last one is the guy that helps me with the show. He's from England. He stays up five in the morning every night. God bless him. Yes. There's Patricia. Patricia, hi. You're live with Adam Fox. How are you? Good. Hello, Adam. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Listen, I just, I don't really have a question. I just wanted to say that I think you're an amazing player. You remind me a lot of my favorite Ranger, who was Brian Leach. And I really enjoy watching you guys. And it's been a crazy but fun season. So thank you. I appreciate that. That, that means a lot to me. Good. You made oh, it to any games? I'm sorry, what? Yes, I was at the 9 nothing oh, game. <laughs> oh, good game to go to. Great game. Great game, yes. Do you remember um, Cole Murphy? I Tyler and Cole Murphy, they were brothers. I think he played with Tyler more than with Cole, but he had mentioned to me that he Yeah, I, I think of Tyler when I was younger on the goals, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that's so, funny. Yeah, it was pretty cool. He's like, oh, I used to play hockey with him. <laughs> yeah, small world. Small world it is. Thank you, Patricia. You want to thank ask one you. more question before you go? No, that was it. I just want to say thank you so much for doing this. This was really thank cool. You. Thank you. Thank you. And it. sorry I chopped our heads off. I had a picture of <laughs> okay. us. Uh, <laughs> All right, Patricia. Oh, I didn't mean to cut her off. Oops, a daisies. Uh, all right. We got one more, and then we go to Tom, and we'll. There's Ryan. How you doing, Ryan? You're live with Adam Fox. Go ahead, buddy. What's going on, Adam? How are you? Good. How are you? Not bad, man. Um, just curious. What do you do on your days off? Are you a video game type of guy? Are you a Netflix type of guy? I'm both. I'm a video game guy. I play uh, a lot of NBA 2K. That's kind of my oh, game yeah? choice. But uh, I live with Lingren now, and he's a big Rocket League guy. I don't know if you. Oh. So I've been I've been getting into that. He's a lot better than me, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'm kind of a role player when we play that game. So, gotcha. Uh, but yeah, I, I watch some TV here and there. I don't got any real shows I'm binging right now, but definitely an Xbox guy. Gotcha. That's another thing I was going to ask. How's it feel uh, living with the next Rangers captain, Ryan Linger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've known him since we were 16. So, uh, oh, really? Wow. Yeah, we played together in uh, in Michigan at the U.S. team. So, you know, he's he's obviously. Uh, you know, one of a kind guy. I think, you know, he's kind of slowly becoming a, a fan favorite with, you know, his play. And, uh, you know, I think his yeah. bleeding is, is kind of drawing their attention. Oh, yeah. He lost Ryan. All right, Ryan, thank you. Say goodbye to Adam and we'll uh, be going in and out. But thank you very much, Ryan. You know, it's, you know, it's funny. Um, I, that's the other thing I was going to ask you because, you know, I have so many close best friends and to grow up with your best friend and then play on the same line. And are you competitive with Ryan at all? One on one, or you guys are that close of a friends that you're not competitive. Uh, in terms of like on ice, yeah, game what like game wise, if you play games against each other, you oh yeah, 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 yeah. We we usually play on the same team if we play games, so there's no no arguments. But do you ever like in the ice? When was the first time you said to him, "Holy crap, do you believe this? We're on the same line together. We're doing well <laughs> together." Yeah, I mean. It was, we played together the first game and it's, we weren't even really D partners ever before that, but we were always on the same team. And uh, yeah, we played well together. It's obviously, you know, pretty surreal and that we get to, to play with each other. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nickname him the Terminator because this guy is just like the Terminator. He gets busted up. He comes back out there. Yeah. You know, we got to make time. a, we got to make a Terminator shirt for him or something. Definitely. All right. Let's, let's get this beautiful day going for you. All right. Two more people. We're done. All right. Josh was coming up. Just made it in time. All right. Let's see, he's logging in. Joshua, are you there, Joshua? Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Turn your video on and turn your sound on, Joshua. All right, we're going to put him back in the waiting room. All right. Now, this last guy, this is Tom. He's from England. Uh, he puts the show together with me at nights and he's a diehard fan. He, he goes on road trips. We go up uh, every year now with the pandemic, obviously, you know, he can't fly out of Europe. It's really bad in England, but he used to come and we used to do two, three road trips together. Actually, we were Letary's first goal in the NHL. We went together. We went to a bunch of games. So here he is. Tom's a good guy though. Mm -hmm. I saved him for last. There we go. 
Tom, I saved you for last, buddy. You're live with Alex. I, I call him Alex. Why am I calling? Why am I calling you? Alex? Uh, it's a tongue twister. There you go. All right, hey. Tom. <laughs> I, I saved you for last. I told Adam how great you are with the show and everything, and all the way from England, staying up every night. But go ahead, Tom. Shoot away. Thank you. Uh, how are you? Good. Yeah, hey, how are you? Yeah, okay, thank you. So um, my one then, you probably might have been right asked this already, so I apologize if you have. Um, past or present, your all-time um, favorite Rangers starting lineup, and you can mix and match. Ooh. Uh, all right, I got to obviously go Hank in the net. I guess some would say Richter, but I was a, a Hank guy. Got to play with him, so that was obviously cool for me. The defense, I got to go. You know, Leech Zuboff on the back end. Uh, so you wouldn't put yourself in? <laughs> uh, no, I got I got Those two, those two got the the resume. They, they got the cups, so I gotta put them. Maybe, maybe one day I'll stick myself in there. But um, up front too, I gotta go Messier. Uh, you know, Graves, or a fellow Adam. I gotta gotta put him in there, and and. Uh, you know, I'll probably put Yager. I think, you know, I was, you know, a kid when he was there. I know he wasn't here for too long, but. Uh, that's you Tom's know, boy. He, Yager's Tom's boy. You got him all excited. It's that's Tom's your boy. I mean, player. he's a legend. So, uh, you know, I was a kid when he was here. So, uh, you know, I loved watching him. Yours is pretty close. Yours is pretty close to mine. Yeah. Who, who you got differently? So, I, I, differently. I, uh, Kevin Klein in with you. And then uh, I had uh, Yaga, Graves, and Gretzky. Oh, Gretzky, yeah, I forgot about him. I, but, again, a little before my time, so. Yeah, me too. I'm only 21. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were that young, Tom. Thanks, Tom, yeah, buddy. Thank you for coming. Thank you. On. Uh, Adam, I think you got one more. That we let's, let's say goodbye. Thank you to Adam Thank Fox. Thank you. NYRfans.com. We, I, yeah. Adam is the best. Uh, you're playing amazing, Adam. And, and thank you for taking your time off on a lovely, beautiful day. Uh, I appreciate it, and I'm um, looking forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, Ted. Always a pleasure. Uh, always a pleasure, Adam. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah. Take care.